John here and welcome back to another how-to video. Today is going to be not gameplay. It's not going to be how to build something in Minecraft, but it's going to be how to fix this thing. See this? Yeah, it's a kickstand for this. That's it right there. These things pop off fairly re regularly on most um, if you actually use them. And actually, as a matter of fact, even if you don't use them, they just tend to pop off. Otherwise, they're, they're not very useful. It's not a very good kickstand. But it is a good dust cover for uh, the S little micro or mini SD card. Is it micro? The little mini SD card uh, that, that goes in right here. So it covers the dust from getting in there. And then there's we have two issues with this thing. One is that it pops off. And two, that it's really, really loose. I'll show you what, what I mean by that in just a minute. But to fix this, it's really simple. First thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and remove uh, the Joy-Cons just by pushing the little button on the back and removing these and we're going to set these uh, aside go ahead and face this uh, face down make sure it's off though uh, before you do this because you don't want to be pushing buttons on accident and getting into things that you don't need to be getting into there's motion at my front door right now one second i didn't know ups had bicycles but apparently they do that's really random and strange to me anyway so the things you're going to need are going to be your, your thumb because that's what you're going to use to try to fix this thing. And then if that doesn't work, we're going to use one of these. Just a really, really, if you can see that, a really fine tip, small, flathead screwdriver. Or anything flat like this that's metal. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to place this guy back on here. So it's, this is really, really easy. Actually, all you have to do is set this down like so. So it's flat with the thing. And then you'll have just that piece protruding where the little prongs are you see the two little prongs right there and you will push those down one side and then the other and that's it see? Yeah, fixed and you have a kickstand and it's working again yay the problem with ours is that it's really really loose i'm going to show you right here it's really really loose and it wiggles and wobbles all over the place i'll show you guys how to fix that before removing it we're going to try one thing there is this little piece of rubber right here you see, i don't know if you can see it <laughs> right there is a piece of rubber that piece of rubber has actually got a little tooth on the inside that clips in to that and that's what keeps it from it kind of locks it into place and it's supposed to keep it from moving that doesn't work uh not very well at least so what we're gonna do is simply lay this back down flat we're gonna lift this uh we're gonna lift this flap up the, the actual kickstand up we're gonna hold down the back end over here we're gonna shove in right where the rubber is only right here and by doing so, we're bending it just ever so slightly. We're going to hold our thumb there and we're going to push it down until it locks into place. So kind of follow it all the way down until it's in its little housing. That's where it's supposed to be. So now it should, you can actually hear it, lock into place. Ours, however, still is loose. Um, it did fix a friend's. We, we, I just tried this on a friend's switch and it worked beautifully. So... I wasn't, I didn't think it was going to work on ours because this, this thing looks like it's a little tweaked, but on theirs, it worked beautifully. So it may work for you. It may not work for you. That's simple. So now we're going to use our handy dandy screwdriver, but we're going to first need to remove this guy. And then we're going to simply kind of go up and over and it's going to simply pop off. It's intended to do that. So it doesn't break. So that's why it popped off in the first place, but we're going to go ahead and fix that by bending these little prongs these little guys right here. I don't know if you guys can see those. We're going to bend those out ever so slightly, but being super careful not to break the bracket. Now, if you do break it, I'm sorry. You're being a little too rough with it, or maybe it's brittle or it was on the sun. Or I don't know. Uh, they do sell replacements of these on uh, Amazon. Some of them are better than others. Nyko makes an aluminum one. I'll put a link in the description below to that one there. Seen other friends try it on their switches. I don't see a need for it for ours. I'm going to simply fix this guy with this. So what we're going to do is I'm going to place this down flat right here and I'm going to take my flat head screwdriver. You can see how fine, I don't know if you can see how fine that is actually. Uh, it's pretty flat at the end. It can't have a, a too much of a step in it. And I'm going to push this in between the metal and the plastic. Now the metal and the plastic are really, really tight together. So you may need to shimmy it in there or maybe use like the end of a knife. If you're using a knife, please have your parents help you. I'm simply just jamming it in there just to wedge it a little bit away i'm bending it ever so slightly because i don't want to break the little piece of plastic on the inside there if you can see that or not there's a piece of metal then there's a piece of plastic on the inside i don't want to break that I'm jamming it in there just to bend it away from the plastic just a bit and now we have a little bit of a bend i don't know if you can see how far away i got it uh, that's as far as it really needs to be now we're going to go ahead and place it back like we did the very first time we're going to place the bottom end in just like this and we're going to pop in one side and you're going to hear a click and you're going to pop in the other side 
and you're going to hear a click and no more wobble. That's pretty cool. It's all fixed. Put the Joy-Cons on there and I'm ready to go. Anyways, dudes, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it was super short, but it was just a quick how-to. Uh, get your Switch back up and running with that kickstand. If you guys did like this video, if you guys can smash that like button down below, it's greatly appreciated. And if you're at all new to this channel, if you guys can click the subscribe button down below as well, it does help the channel out a great deal. And while you're at it, click the little bell. Click that little bell. It turns on notifications and it lets you do to do that to know when we upload our videos. And until next time, guys, see ya. Yeah.